I'm Emily, I'm 28 and I am Regional Agronomist for the South West for NIAB TAG. I've been working in the agricultural industry for seven and a half years and my favourite time in the farming year is August when the combines are rolling and all the crops are being harvested. If I had to describe my job in three words they'd be dynamic, varied and challenging. As an agronomist, my job is to advise farmers on everything to do with growing crops and guide them through the growing season. In order to be an agronomist, the skills you need are being well organised and self-motivated as you have to spend quite a lot of time out and about by yourself. You also need to be happy outdoors in a range of weathers because unfortunately it's not always sunny and sometimes you get absolutely soaked in the winter. So, on those days you need to have a good positive attitude and a good pair of waterproofs. In order to qualify as an agronomist, I studied agriculture at Newcastle University for three years. I then did my basis and fax exams, which are the professional exams you have to do to qualify as an agronomist. When you're thinking about the subjects that you're studying and what you want to do in the future, I would say focus on what you really enjoy. At school, I really didn't like science at all. Um, for me, there was no link between that and agriculture, but once I went to university, I really, really enjoyed studying crop science and that's what's led me into agronomy today. A typical starting salary as an agronomist when you've left university is around £25,000 a year. This uh, can increase quite a lot over time as you gain experience and a customer base. Of course, it's not all about the money, it's also about the benefits of the lifestyle, being outdoors every day, and being able to have your dog alongside you. I would rate my job a solid 9 out of 10 for uh, the variety of opportunities. Every day is different and it is all about being outdoors, enjoying the countryside and working with farmers. My advice to you if you're interested in becoming involved in the agricultural industry is not to be put off if you're not from a farming background. Just try and get as much industry experience as you can and look at all the different options and see what appeals to you the most.